Uh, I'm John Kohler, Director of Hardware Marketing at PlayStation. Uh, we're here to talk about the PSP 3000, which we announced uh, at Leipzig last week and we'll be uh, inserting into a few bundles uh, this upcoming holiday season. The PSP 3000, we're considering a minor hardware update, but it's something that we're looking to do from time to time. Ultimately, uh, the PSP is a, is a system that uh, is updated through firmware updates, but we look to uh, updating the screen as well in this particular uh, upgrade because we think that as consumers um, continue along with the life cycle of the PSP, they're going to want a uh, brighter, um, but more vibrant screen and I think uh, what the PSP 3000 offers is the, the brighter screen but also the opportunity to be able to play it outside which there's been some uh, some issues with in the past. The, uh, the response time has improved dr dramatically and I think overall the ghosting will be improved. Ultimately what the consumer is going to see is a much better, more vibrant uh, backlight as well as just a brighter overall experience. So when they're playing it they'll be like, wow, it's a much crisper experience particularly with a game maybe like Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, which we're including in this upcoming bundle. Um, you know, those kinds of explosions and more graphical displays are that much more, I think, interesting and, and nice to look at. Well, we've got a five-time improvement in the contrast ratio, and uh, we're offering a wider color gamut, which in other words means much more pretty and much more bright to look at. And, and I think that when you put them side by side, when you look at the 3000 versus the 2000 or even the 1000 models, you really notice the difference. And, you know, as I mentioned, the screen is really what we're trying to make sure is the, uh, the foundation for all the PSP success. So battery life will decrease by a small amount. It's material, but it's about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. Um, and that's because there's a little bit of a, a larger power draw um, with the brighter screen. That's going to be offset because we're going to have um, the extended life battery that's still available for consumers. So they're still going to get the 8 to 10 hours out of that battery. Or the battery that comes with the PSP will now be right around 3.5 to 4 hours. We actually started looking at the mic when we started seeing the growth and the uh, I think strength of the SOCOM. Uh, usage model and SOCOM Fireteam Bravo as you're probably aware um, is a game that really bucked the trend in terms of usage for PSP um, first of all it's a great online experience but secondly people were playing it for three three and a half hours for a handheld that's pretty unbelievable and you're like man my thumbs are getting tired where you know on console that's pretty much expected it's not as expected on PSP or any handheld so um, we looked at that model and said you know what it'd be a better experience for consumers to be able to talk directly to the PSP rather than have to always be mic so we started looking at opportunities to be able to integrate into the PSP. When we knew that the brighter and better screen was coming, we thought it would be a good opportunity to integrate at that point. It's a regular mic that's uh, going to be used, and it does pick up uh, sound very well. And we talked about SOCOM, but for use with Skype, it's also equally effective. And um, we started looking at, uh, at Skype plans, as, as you know, about a year ago, a year and a half ago. And um, when we started looking at that, we said, you know what, this uh, PSP 3000 model will work very well with Skype. And, um, we've had a lot of success in North America with the Skype integration. We um, obviously sell the headset that works with the Skype um, functionality, and we've doubled our sales there. So we have a pretty good feel for the fact that Skype's been very popular with PSP owners, and uh, we're able to see now that uh, that integration with the mic, I think, will be um, that much more helpful to that consumer. Accessory compatibility, for the most part, will be standard with the 2000 model. Um, there's going to be a small exception with uh, the AC adapter that's packed in with the 3000, but very minor. Everything else will work and uh, will work very well. So the PSP 3000 is going to be the SKU moving forward for us. The 2000 will uh, cease production um, in September. So um, when, that, when that stops, we'll be moving into the 3000 full time. All the accessories that are on the market must work, and they will. Yeah, so the, the port for video out is the same. Um, that has not changed, 2000 to 3000. What has changed is the ability to take composite cable and play games through that on a, on a monitor or a TV, which has changed because, as you probably remember, we had the composite cable relegated only to video and uh, in the 2000 model, but now you can use it for game. So the PSP 3000 will be included initially in the Ratchet and Clank Size Matters pack, entertainment pack, which will launch October 14th. Um, so that'll include the National Treasure 2 movie and the memory stick, one game memory stick, and the PSN voucher for $199. Uh, we have a second pack, which will be launching early November, um, that's going to be a black PSP 3000 and a 4 gig memory stick. So the product lineup is uh, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters with the Silver 3000, October 14th, 199 uh, early November, the 4 gig uh, memory entertainment pack with the black 3000 for uh, 199 as well. 
And one more thing on the pricing that I should mention is we do try to keep um, the price at kind of a ceiling at the 199 because we have seen that um, with a 169 core product and a 199 bundle, you get a ton of value in those bundles and uh, over and above value. So you're looking at 40 to $50 extra value when you purchase the bundles. And that's really the idea for the gift giver.